Hello everyone. I hope life is good and that you are continuing to learn a lot of new things in school and at home all about life. In the Bible, the book of Proverbs was written to teach people, especially children, about the best way to live and to do things. It's really a collection of short sayings called Proverbs each one of which is a little bit of wisdom in a nutshell. Our story today is about one of those proverbs. See what you make of it. It's called Home and Garden. Meet the sheep. Samantha the sheep is on the left. Cecil the sheep is on the right. They're both waving to us. So, hello sheep. Now, Samantha and Cecil each have the same two tasks to do. They've got to build themselves somewhere to live, and they've got to grow themselves something to eat. They are important tasks. But what's the best order to do them in? Build the house and then get your field ready, or get your field ready and then build your house. Samantha starts by digging her field, but Cecil starts by building his house. What order would you do things in? Now Samantha's planting seeds and Cecil's laying bricks. Both are doing well. Gosh, Samantha's field looks a bit barren and bare. She's only starting to water the seeds. But Cecil's house looks super duper great. He's already starting to put the roof on. Whoa! Cecil's nearly finished his house. He's just giving it a lick of paint and then he'll be D-O-N-E done and D-U-S-T-E-D -E dusted. With that anyway, poor Samantha. She's only getting started on her house. But look at her plants. They're starting to sprout up. Now Cecil's getting on with his field, digging, 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 and Samantha's getting started on her house. Brickwork, brickwork, brickwork. Her plants are growing well, you've got to say. I wonder who made the right choice? Who has done things in the right order? Golly! Samantha's hammering her roof on now. And look at those vegetables. They're really coming on and look better than some you could buy. At least Cecil is starting to get his seeds into the ground. How do you think this is going to turn out? Samantha's finishing off her house. And she's got sweet corn, pumpkin, tomatoes, carrots, and something green. Maybe it's peas or beans. Maybe it's courgette, which is also called zucchini. I don't know. I do know that all Cecil's got is a purple watering can, which is lovely. And of course, a house, which is great. I think we can tell now who made the right choice. Both Samantha and Cecil have lovely little houses each. But look, Samantha's crop is nearly ready. But poor Cecil's is spindly and only getting started. By the look on his face, I think Cecil has just realised he's got things the wrong way round. But Samantha is calling him over to her place to share a lovely big bowl of yummy, fresh, healthy vegetables. Remember, like Proverbs 24, verse 27 says, First plant your fields, then build your house. You know, when it comes to learning, it's great to work things out for yourself. Like when you're doing a puzzle or building Lego, 
or learning. It's much better to put your socks on first and then your shoes rather than your shoes on first and then your socks. But it's also great to have people who teach you and help you think and point you in the right direction. That's what the, the story was doing today, teaching us by helping us to think through and understand that sometimes it's best to do things in a certain order. As the proverb put it, it's better to plant your fields first, then build your house. But you know, we saw and were able to work out why that's good advice. And you know that the book of Proverbs is full of good advice about more than planting and building. It makes us wise to the right way of living. It tells us not to be a know-it-all, but to listen to advice. It teaches us that understanding how wonderful God is starts us on a journey to true knowledge and wisdom. And the good news is, that's the journey you're on. Okay, get ready for our song together and I'll say bye for now.